These videos are brought to you by MSCCasino.com and the Maco Sporting Club. MSCCasino.com, check it out. You are watching Sports Matters TV. Okay guys, welcome to the Everyman here in Cork and we have a sensational night on the way here. It's a pre-show, so we're not going to talk too much about the show because we'll give away a couple of spoilers of what's ahead. Um, the man next to me, Damien, he's, uh, he's iconic, he's a man that I'm absolutely honoured to be here with tonight. Damien, first of all, welcome to the Rebel County. Um, it's, been, it's been a hectic few months for you, but uh, listen, you, you don't stop, you, you stay on the go. I, yeah, I try, yeah, great to be here, thanks very much. Um, what, a, what a welcome we've give, been given with uh, about 620 people um, coming tonight to the show. So it's honestly, it's blown me away a little bit, but um, I'm clearly delighted and, uh, and looking forward to delivering to them. And, but yeah, no, things are, I'm always trying to keep life a bit interesting, you know, so, yeah. um, so this is a new thing for me, these uh, public shows, but they've been seriously well received, so Definitely. delighted to be here. And listen, you, you're a great speaker. I've been, uh, you know, I've seen the feedback from the tour already, and I, I know it's probably going to expand and, you know, I can only imagine what's ahead over the next few years because you, you don't, you know, like, you you don't rest first of all you've got so many ideas and so much you want to do but the tour has been a blessing the feedback on twitter has been incredible i've seen you know the feedback all across the country there's countries that want you to go there to speak and you're a fantastic speaker but uh, how impressed have you been with the tour and and the fans and i suppose the aftermath well uh, a lot of nice things have been said and when people say nice things about you it's kind of nice <laughs> you know uh no like we've had full houses in dublin belfast and sligo and you don't know when you're going into something like this you kind of put yourself out there and you hope right you have hopes and you try not to have too many expectations but you have hopes and uh and they've been greatly surpassed you know i think just just the fact that so many people have come and they've said very nice things and you know i've enjoyed it as much as you can enjoy public speaking right yeah. <laughs> i've enjoyed it so <laughs> so um i'm i'm so happy you know took the leap and, and went for it definitely now one of the things that's impressed me most it's it's that story of when you were a 17 year old obviously on on the school team and uh, they weren't using you stupidly they, they made the mistake of not using you but it's the way you took that and and built something and i loved um the little graphic where you're standing there is the current you and the young you running mm. up and down the road that was mind-blowing for me personally i think it's something that you know that will inspire so many people but where where does all that inspiration come from like you've done so much to date and, and where, where do you reckon that all came from was it like is it is it a genetic thing with the family is it it's something like that i think it, it comes from locking into what's important to you and meaningful to you and you know this this strange paradox in life the way you actually find that often is through pain you know through discomfort and and through emotions that are um don't feel nice and they're they're therefore known as negative emotions right so that night or when i made that realization around um i was letting myself down you know i was i saw myself from other people's perspective so i became quite embarrassed about you know my um behavior to that point and trying to be a rugby player because rugby was everything and then ashamed but i you know how you uh, use those uh, emotions is a choice and i had this big meaningful thing in terms of rugby that i was meant a lot to me and i was able to somehow you know um uh, direct those emotions even though they don't feel good they're still full of energy and they can propel you in the right direction and i went towards that and and use them positively and uh that was the decision that changed the course of my life and uh, it was surreal and, and we mentioned rugby and this is one thing you know what i mean i have to mention i think the irish boys could do with some of your uh, <laughs> your good knowledge because the six nations is incoming first of all and it's just the way you speak it's your mindset's incredible it's to me you're unbreakable and, and i say that with complete positivity it's just what i've seen the last couple of years with you personally it's just incredible i was cooking something the other day and i bought myself taking out the tray and i'm like i'm, I'm mourning about a little burn and i'm like damien's been out and see 112 days he's done <laughs> seven of the nine summits and i'm like yeah. man up you know but you know what i mean is that something you, you might look at in the future look you know what i mean we look at the irish rugby team first of all um you're such an inspirational speaker if you give them some guidance they'd probably be unbeatable for for 20 years I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of components that goes into performance but definitely um you know i i have um 
I, I think I have lots of um, quality information in terms of the mental side of performance yeah. that um, that I've learned the hard way that you know that can be passed on and I try to do that tonight I'll be doing that to a certain extent in the show and you know that's that's a really uh, important and dutiful thing for me to do you know there's no point going to your grave with with information and knowledge and wisdom that you've learned the hard way that you haven't passed on so that's what I'm trying to do I have had the opportunity on, on one occasion to speak to the to the Irish rugby team and to yeah. some of the provinces as well so so they have come calling a couple of times and I've, I've been only had two um, honours really to pass on what I know works rightly so like there's so much ahead for you and I, I'm, I'm very interested to watch your journey yet again for the for the next 30 40 years you know beyond um is there any talk of a book there I mean I think a book would be great yeah yeah no um I have I did have the uh, I still have the aspiration to write a book um it it was just one of those things that kind of got pushed down the priorities a little bit because of opportunities that yeah. were there and it's an extraordinarily extraordinary body of work as well you know so i i didn't have the um the time and uh, focus or an, enough focus to put everything into it which is needed you know i think yeah. you nearly need to go away and sequester yourself someplace for a couple of months and just put your head in front of a wall and just write you know because yeah. um that's if I want to do something, I want to do it to the best of my ability. So it it'll come. Uh, it just hasn't uh, hasn't hasn't managed to um, to get there just yet. It'll come though, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. And look, we mentioned seven of the nine summits. Um, obviously, I think I know your mentality. You, you want to do the nine. Yeah, yeah. So five of the seven, seven summits. Yeah, yeah. sorry, so, five, seven. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. So no, I, I do, I do. Yeah, like so. There's Mount Everest is left, and yeah. uh, Mount Vincent in Antarctica. So. Mount Everest obviously is, is very attractive, you know, I, I would yeah. love the opportunity to stand on top of the world uh, and I, I, I know I'll give myself that opportunity, it's just when is the question and it's it's not at a, right now it's not an immediate thing in my life, I actually, I'm coming to the kind of, the um, point now where I have the acorn of a new idea, so I'm going to yeah. just explore that, um, I'm <laughs> sure you won't mind if I whole council just because it's of course, uh, of course. it's very early days but so that's definitely going to be next but yeah hopefully in the future i'll get back to everest and, and give it a good shot definitely and look yeah. you're, you're open to, to obviously look to tour and i want to say look obviously it could be a stressful thing obviously look when you're in Ireland, obviously it's great to be around the, all the counties and mm. you know you get that warm welcome but obviously you know what i mean we, we've seen the interest you know what i mean people want you in america australia new zealand is that something you think that you know what i mean might might you know deliver throughout the year because it's there the demand is there you know, I, I I think above anything else, I think my uh, my foundational mindset is to explore, you know, to explore myself, to explore life, to explore opportunities, and to push myself through that exploration. You know, so this is this is the first steps really into the the shows at least. You know, I've done plenty of um, uh, corporate speaking, but this is the first step into this, and it's been so rewarding. I, I really can't see um, any way that I won't do it again. Yeah. So um, yeah, listen. If if that's if I feel that there's something there to explore, I'll definitely go towards it. I love it. And look, we have to speak. Obviously, in December, we were blessed to watch. Uh, I suppose man versus you know. Yeah. Or like it, it was it was mind blowing. I think it was December twelfth to thirteenth it aired. Mm. Uh, what was the feedback like for you? Because look. In my opinion, it, w it was too short. I wanted yeah, more and more, yeah. Damien. I really wanted, <laughs> I wanted 10 episodes. And they, they kind of rammed it all into to yeah. 45 minutes. And it, w it was great to see the 45 minutes, but I wanted, I wanted more. I so uh, is there any chance we might get more from your side where there's more content you could put out? or? Well, there's that, yeah. There's plenty of that. Like, there's 100 hours of footage um, yeah. recorded from the ocean. Um, and you know this was um, RTE had you know um, the rights to this yeah. so they wanted it for 50 minutes so as you said it's condensed and there's a lot of the story missing you know you'll hear more of the story tonight but definitely there's an app, there's a, a huge drive internally for myself and the, the director and the production house to to make it more like to, to get it out there to a streaming service and hopefully do a feature length film or maybe a multiple episode thing and you know tell the story in a little bit more depth and a little bit hopefully more interest because there's plenty of parts um, that didn't make it that are extraordinarily interesting. We need to see it. We need to, we need a hundred hours. Please give us that. We we need it. And look, last of all, we mentioned the Robbie days. Look, you, you had a 
you know, a very spectacular rugby career. Obviously, you didn't get a chance to play at Munster, which is heartbreaking. No. Look, being a Galway <laughs> man, look, obviously, you know, Leinster Connick, but you know what I mean? You, you had a great time, obviously a great drive. When you compare your rugby days to, to the day, I mean, of, I suppose, you know, in his 40s, mm. uh, you're probably fitter now. I'm not saying like you, yeah. know, you weren't fit as a rugby player, Jesus, you No, are. no, just uh, fit for purpose, right? You know, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't last very long on a rugby pitch, uh, <laughs> at least in the, like, the really dense parts of it, like the scrummaging and the mauling. I think I'd tap out pretty, you know, I'd gas out pretty lively. Yeah. But definitely in, on a, in an anaerobic um, capacity, I would have higher levels of fitness now because I've trained deliberately for them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I, I love training. It's it's like the cornerstone of my life. Like So I'm always pushing myself in training because it gives me so much. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and, and that's, that'll never stop, you know. I will, I will, it is just a, a beautiful part of life for me. I love pushing my body and my mind and, and I'll continue to do that until the day they put me on the ground. And people should do that. Look, you, there's no, there's no, um, like, we, like people think they have limitations, but let's, no. let's be honest, it's, it's good to push yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. Limits are fiction, you know, they're just, just parameters that we put in our own mind that uh, can be pushed past, you know, they can't continually be. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, as we said, I'm, I'm seven or eight years retired now and, you know, I was a professional athlete, right? I was training twice a day yeah. and eight years later, I'm not a professional athlete, uh, but I'm a fitter athlete, you know, so you, the limits are, it just if you work hard and you know um, you have a goal and you have intention to get to that goal and you have good knowledge around you, you can push past those things physically and mentally for sure. I love it. And last of all, Damien, I mean, look, we have to mention Six Nations yet again. Mm. Ireland, you know, new captain, kind of a few changes. Do you fancy Ireland for the Six Nations? Uh, if they can get past France, <laughs> it's <laughs> tough. Always it's a not, tough thing. Yeah, yeah, first up, right. Um, I think the French are probably the team to beat. You know, I think you know, after that, I think that the Irish team are, you know, they're not far away. I think if they can get past France, I think they can win it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. Listen, we're looking forward to the show. This is an iconic venue. We were reading the history on the way in. But listen, it's going to be iconic when you walk onto that stage. <laughs> and uh, we're looking forward to it, Damien. Thank you for coming to Cork. Thanks a lot. It's great to be here. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thanks, Thanks for Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Guys.